Hello, welcome to Storytime. I'm Kaylin, and these are my friends, Big Ted, Little Ted, and Morris. Have you Ted's been working out? Look at these shiny medals. Today, we'll be reading your book. The book is called The Speedy Sloth. Here's a friendly sloth on the cover. Not so sure how speedy she is, though. Sloths aren't usually very fast animals, are they? The story goes like this. It was finally time for the event of the year. That's why I couldn't believe it. The great race was here. The other sloth said it couldn't be done. Nah, you're dreaming. You're a sloth. Huh? But Spike didn't care. She was ready to run. All those other sloths aren't very supportive, are they? Do you think Spike will prove them wrong? See, Spike likes to think that hard work pays, so she'd been in the gym for the last seven days. One. Spike's doing push-ups. Or oh, one push-up at least. She checked her laces and prepared to soar. Her mum wished her luck as she jogged out the door. Be back for dinner. You better be ready. I'm cooking your favourite. She called out, spaghetti. The others looked fit. The others looked quicker. They looked at the sloth and tried not to snicker. The races lined up. Then the starting horn blew. Spike took off fast. Her furry feet flew. She bolted like lightning. She practically soared. There was no sloth who'd ever run faster before. Look at all the animals racing. There's even a small, speedy snail. Can you see it? Do you like to race with your friends? The Ted's love a friendly race, don't we, team? She sprinted so fast, she was all but a blur of speed and technique and sweaty sloth fur. Snail overtook her, but that guy was a beast. As fast as a race car or push bike, at least. Snails and sloths aren't known for their speed, are they? In fact, Spike was trailing a loris, a grub, a hare and a tortoise, a mischievous cub. The hares hitched a little ride on the tortoise's back. A moonwalking meerkat, a chimp who loves flipping, a burrowing mole, a giraffe prone to tripping, an old armadillo, a daydreaming cougar, and an elephant riding a broken down scooter. This is a very eventful race. I think Spike's chances are looking pretty good. What do you think, team? Hmm. All that remained was Peter the Cheetah, who bolted her head shouting, ha ha, beat ya. Whoa, Peter the Cheetah's really fast. He's even got lightning bolts on his running shoes. Spike was exhausted, she had to admit, but she'd come so far, there was no way she'd quit. It was there, she could see it. A fallen down sign. She grinned and leapt over. The finishing line. The other sloths gasped. They reeled back unsteady. Look there, it's Spike. She's back already? Spike made it all the way to the end of the race. Go, Spike. Yes, Spike was slow, but for a sloth, she was fast. And yes, it is true that the sloth came last. But Spike didn't care. She was a winner and she'd made it back home in time for her dinner. Well done, Spike. Now she can celebrate with a big bowl of spaghetti, her favourite. And that's the end of the story. Spike had so much fun running in the race. Do you like running, like the Teds? Or maybe you like playing rugby league, like me? It's time for us to go now. It's bye from Big Ted, Little Ted and Morris, and it's bye from me. Bye, everyone. Should we go outside and have our own little race?